Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Syntax Logis. We understand that starting from 1st of October 2025, all foreign workers need to contribute EPF 2%. So what needs to be done in SDL payroll system? Let's get started. When we go to KWSP website, we can see that it's already announced in this website that starting from 1st of October 2025, all foreign workers need to contribute EPF and the percentage will be employer 2%, employee also 2%. Today, we'll talk about SQL payroll system training, foreign worker EPF 2% setting. Let's go into SQL payroll software. First of all, you need to make sure your SQL payroll version is 229 and above. You can check over the login screen. Then log into your payroll software. There will be three settings you need to do. The first setting will be at your maintain employee. Go to human resource, maintain employee. Go into your foreign worker, example Ali, of course, you need to fill out all the information and at the grouping, please make sure the nationality is according to that employee and not just default or Malaysia. This is the very important step. Step two, you need to go to maintain wages. Go to payroll, maintenance, maintain wages. And I will advise you separate one more wages is called foreign. And inside this foreign, make sure the EPF contribution is take. Okay. Of course, for foreign worker, you need to contribute EPF, SOCSOP, PCB, and no EIS. The third setting will be at maintain contribution. Go to payroll, maintenance, maintain contribution. So same things, over maintain contribution, create another contribution called foreign. And make sure the employee and employer for EPF rate will be set to A. It's automatic. By setting like this, so once the system detects this is a foreign worker based on the nationality, so we follow the government setting. Finally, before you process your payroll, please go to maintain employee. Go to each of your foreign worker, example Ali, and make sure the three settings already done, assigned to the employee. First, go to grouping. The nationality is according to the original actual nationality of the employee. Then, payroll info. Wages type have assigned to foreign. And also, contribution also assigned to foreign. After that, what you need to do is just process your payroll as normal. For example, I want to process the payroll, go to new payroll. Then, go to final and I process the payroll. and go into the foreign worker. And you can see that based on 4,000 wages, okay, the EPF for employee and employer will be 2%, which is 80 ringgit for each party. So this is how easy for you to set SQL payroll software for foreign worker EPF 2%. If you're interested in purchasing SQL payroll software or SQL accounting software, or you want to sign up support maintenance for any of this software, please contact Syntax Technologies directly. If you think this video is helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. See you in the next video. Thank you.